I'm Jim Gardner. In this video I want to talk about how may I serve. It's the key to making wealth. It's the key to prosperity. People pay for service. People pay for a service in the form of purchasing a product that serves a purpose in their lives or they pay for a direct service such as cutting somebody's lawn, repairing somebody's car, painting a wall mural, designing a t-shirt. Service in any form is the key to getting paid. And when we sell a product, an artistic product, a work of art, whether it's a sculpture, whether it's a painting to hang on a wall, whether it's a tattoo for someone's body, when we sell a work of art it's because again that tattoo or that painting serves a purpose of filling in a space, expressing the feelings of the purchaser. They related to the feeling of the artist. And so, again, we have to create products that serve a purpose in someone else's life. Or we have to provide a service that provides a service that has value in someone else's life. That's the key to succeeding in any business. So, the title of this video is, How May I Serve? Let's face it, we have to have a job. We have to earn an income. We're going to work for somebody in some capacity during our most productive time, let's say from the time we get out of high school until we choose to retire, if we choose to retire. So we have this whole big gap in our life from maybe 18 to 20 year old on up through 60 to 65. Some people retire early and uh, <laughs> for those many of them that I've met, they retire early from one business only to get involved in another business because the mind does not want to retire. The mind does not want to stop thinking. The mind does not want to stop creating whatever. So, as artists, we have been blessed with that fertile imagination that does not want to sleep. In fact, so many people, when they do reach the age of retiring from their normal job, often take up a painting class, often take up things that they wanted to do all their lives, but somehow their life got in the way of it, so they didn't do it. Well, I want to plant the seed of succeeding in serving others with your talent as early in life as possible because that way you can make the most of what you have to offer. The community can benefit the most from your lifetime of growth, your lifetime of expression, your lifetime of giving of what you have to offer. And the world is made a better place and you are living a life that will be fulfilling both to that creative urge that's driving you and to the bank account that nourishes you. The bank account is a result of successfully providing a service to the marketplace. The satisfaction that you get is a result of living a life well lived. Being an artist gives you that opportunity to express yourself. Being a business person gives you that opportunity to serve others. So, in this video, again, we're going to blend the concept of what do I have to offer with what does the marketplace need, what does the marketplace want, what will the marketplace pay us to do. We get to choose how we want to use our talents. With that in mind, I want to remind you that there is no competition to being yourself. This whole artistic expression business is based on your unique qualities being brought out into the open and then shaped, 
packaged, marketed in such a way that it can benefit someone. And when it benefits someone else, they are willing to pay for it. So let's take a look at some of the things that we all share in common. And then we'll look at some of the things that we all have personally unique unto ourselves. And we are going to take our unique qualities and shape them such that they serve some of the common qualities that are found in everybody. So, what we have in common, some of the things we have in common is that we all have our physical bodies, which need to be cared for. Clothing, food, shelter, nourishment of all sorts, rest, recreation, that kind of a thing. Our physical bodies are the first thing that we come in contact with when we see each other. The next thing, we have our feelings, our emotions. Our emotions are immediately triggered whenever we see something. We may be ambivalent about most of the things in our peripheral vision, but when we see something we like, whether it's an automobile, a person, something like that, our feelings are excited. When we see something that we don't like, physical world around us or whatever, our emotions are immediately affected with disgust or disturbance, whatever. So we all have a physical body, we all have emotions, and we all have the same emotions, though we express them at different times and for different reasons, which makes us look like we're different people, but structurally, we all know what love is, we all know what fear is, we all know what anger is, we know jealousy, hatred, joy, fear, whatever. We all have the same package of emotions to work with, we just have different reasons for expressing them at different times and in front of different people and so forth. Okay, so we have our physical bodies, we have our feelings or our emotions, and our emotions are what we use to express our artwork. It's our feelings that we're putting into our form of expression. What I'm doing right now, it's my passion, it's my emotions that are coming across, it's how I feel about this information that I'm sharing with you. But then the next thing we have is our intellect. I point to the brain. It's where we analyze things and we intellectually set goals and we determine uh, our values. So we figure things out intellectually. For the most part, that makes us unique among most of the animals, though there are some very intelligent animals out there as well. And uh, we have a lot to learn from some of them. But we have our physical bodies. We have our emotional feelings. We have our intellectual ability to figure things out. Set goals. Our intellect is responsible for how much money we make. We have to decide how we want to work, what hours we want to work, how much we want to get paid. These are all decisions that are based on how we feel about how much we deserve to get paid, how we feel about living in a certain climate or neighborhood or working in a certain area or certain industry. And, of course, then our physical body has to show up in those places that make us emotionally happy and intellectually challenged and rewarded so we get what we want. And the fourth element, which is the most important and often, most overlooked, is the fact that we all are alive. It's that power of life itself that we share in common. None of us can tell us where it comes from, except to say that it came through our parents. It was their aliveness that got together and started to shape our form as one cell met another cell and became four cells, which then turned into 16 cells, which then turned into many more, and ultimately gave us all our eyes, ears, things, organs that we needed to survive on our own, and out popped you, <laughs> or me. That's how we got here. Life kept us going and will continue to keep us going. So now we have four elements to be aware of. Our physical bodies, pretty easy and obvious. How we feel, very important because that's how we're going to affect our clients. 
and intellectually figured it out. This is what this video is about. Let's figure this out. How do we work with this? And the fact that we are alive without that element, nobody's going to buy anything from us. <laughs> Nobody cares. No one's going to intellectually figure things out. No one's going to feel any particular way because they're no longer alive. And of course the body will quickly disintegrate as well. There's something about being alive that holds it all together and allows us to work with each other and sell our products, serve each other. Through service is how we get paid. On that, Laos, what makes us unique? Well, what makes us unique is we are here at this time of life's evolution. We have a specific background that we've been through. Our own personal memories are unique to us and only us. Our desires, what we want to have, unique to most of us. Not everybody wants the same things. Our lessons that we need to learn, those are unique to us as well. And the process of expressing ourselves, the process itself is often a process of self-discovery turning into self-expression, and that is our work of art. And lo and behold, out there in the marketplace, someone relates to it, perhaps for the same reasons, perhaps for their own reasons, but they say, wow, that work of art, that song, that music, that piece of artwork, that tattoo, that whatever, I relate to it, I want it, how much does it cost? As soon as we go into the how much does it cost, we've shifted from the emotional desire I want it to the intellectual part of how do I get it? Where will I put it? How will I take it home? I, you know, do I use a credit card? Do I pay cash? Those are intellectual decisions. Emotionally, we already bought it. We want it. We're going to do it. Now we have to shift the gears to the intellectual, figure it out. And again, then we physically possess that object once we pay for it and go through the process. And again, it's only because we are alive. Our creative aliveness purchased something from someone else's or sold our self-expression to someone else's physical form because we're both alive and we're doing business together. Life is expressing itself to another living form. Those are the things we express uniquely. We use the same powers, we have the same emotions, but for different reasons. And now in our unique way, we express who we are as a work of art. And ultimately, our life is our greatest work of art. Financial success is signs of a business and a service well done. Spiritual or emotional satisfaction is the reward for a life well lived. So we want both. We want success in the business world and we want satisfaction in our emotional or spiritual, whatever you want to call it. We want to know that our life was worth living. It meant something to someone other than just ourselves. That's important. So with that in mind, I want to invite you to pick up a copy of You Have the Tale and So Where is the Money? The answer is the money always lies in providing a product or a service that other people benefit from because people pay for the benefit they get from the things you offer. So the book is available on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and from the publisher at balboapress.com. With that in mind, thanks for watching. I'm Jim Gardner.